and welcome to Championship Chatter here on Pitch Football YouTube channel and the Pitch Football app. My name is Johnny. And I'm Jono. I'm going to be talking all things Championship and we're not going to muck around. We're not going to muck no, around. No, no, no change. We've had the cup games interfering with our fantastic Championship season. It's been very enjoyable for us. But yeah, jumping into it. Oh, results from, not the weekend just gone, the weekend before, you know, when real football were about, not this cup. There's no wrong with FA Cup. People like you are spoiling the joy of FA Cup football. It's wank, John. It's not, it's brilliant. It's wank. Who's going to win it? Sheffield United. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> it's in Man City. Yeah, well, all right, it gets a bit boring towards the end. But yeah. These early stages with non-league teams, pasted each shit out of Coventry, you got to love it. I always, I always love wasps getting shit pissed out. Yeah, I'll gear that. I I'll gear like that. that. I'll gear that. But for me, for my club, boring as fuck. Millwall away. Great result. Into the cup <laughs> against Wrexham. I, I don't mind that one. That's not a bad draw. So anyway, it's not a cup show. <laughs> Back to fucking real football. Uh, Middlesbrough lost at home three-one to the mighty Borough. The up and coming mighty boy, of course, they're on a ray roll, aren't they? They might be, but it seems that my uh, comments last week might have rattled them. As somebody put in the comments, like a beggar's cup. <laughs> <laughs> Did see that? <laughs> Brilliant <laughs> comment. The history books were out there. Weren't oh, they? weren't they? But that's yeah. it. Backed up my entire point. Living in the past, think they're bigger than they are. Oh, we won a league cup back in the fucking early nineties. Well done. You know what about that now? What about the nineties now? 30, 30 years ago. Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel fucking old, I put it that way, but anyway, 30 years ago, great. So when you're not one out in another 30 years, we'll still be bashing on about that. You there will, yeah. No, oh, probably, exactly. But anyway, that aside, to the positive points of Middlesbrough, doing well still. Climbing that table. That's the positive. Point. Pack, Pack bomb. Pack bomb. I hope somebody comes in and buys him. Just for our benefit. <laughs> yeah, just for yeah, our he benefit. Just can't stop scoring, can he? Uh, Carrick seems to have had a great influence on him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, playing good for football. I, I think that's what's benefiting him, is the football is suiting his style of play. One thing about Wilder is it, he had strikers in that fit his style of play. Billy Sharp fit his style of play, David McGoldrick fit his style of play. On him at Burnham to an extent, did if we played him properly, but he never really played him properly, did he? No. Like no. we're playing him now. Um, so Akpom might be another one of them, where he fits Carrick's system more than Wilder's, benefiting him, scoring goals for fun. Will it continue? I think it will. Uh, unless somebody comes in to buy for him, they're in playoff places now, and with the form that they're in, I can't see him coming out of playoffs. Yeah. Is it going to be like last season, where they're like, oh, we're on the charge, we're on the drive? It started a bit New later manager. last season, didn't it? A little bit later, yeah. But does that uh, mean the, does that mean the drop offs going to come soon? Though? It depends. If you get a few injuries, it depends if he's allowed to bring anybody in. That's the big in point. January That's transfer, the big because point. Because they have got a small squad. Yeah. But at the moment, it's working for him. And three three players in, I think they've got a good chance to make it playoffs. Yeah, three players in, every chance to make it playoffs. And you know what? With three decent players, a good chance of winning them. Good chance. Even even chasing second. That's not very crazy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. You got to remember who's in second place, and we. Oh yeah. yeah. If we can find a way to fuck it up, exactly. We'll do it. We'll find that way. And there's quite a few chasing us. Yeah, there is. One team that's definitely not chasing us is Norwich. They lost at home. 1 0 yes. to Watford. Goodbye, Dean. Unfortunately, Dean's. they're part of company with uh, Dean Smith. We're going to talk about that a bit more in depth later, but why were they in the first place? Isn't we did tell you. We, again. We, we, we said it. We've been saying it for weeks that Dean Smith's garbage. You need a Johnny and John approval before you're appointed a manager. Exactly. We need to give it the rubber stamp. If you're going to sign a manager, let us rubber stamp it first. Because apart from Carrick, it's, they've all gone terribly. Yeah, we went right up on Carrick, were we? Well, to be fair, nobody were. It's his first job in football it's management. Time. It's time. You can't get you, you can't really judge first time managers. No, no. But we've seen enough of Dean Smith in the past to know that he's a pound like Chris Wilder. There you go. There's nothing more to say. Back to Walsall he goes. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> but Norwich can't buy a win of it, can they? No, unfortunately I've had them to finish in top three as well, so my bet's going down, down, down. Watford, as much of a dumpster fire as their football club is at the minute, it's Another win for him. Another win. Uh, <coughs> another another pacey goal from uh, what's his face up front. I'm not saying all his names, just Bayo. Yeah, just Bayo. Just Bayo. Just, just Bayo. Call him Bayo. <laughs> and the Bayo affair. Back in <laughs> Fenwa. <laughs> now um, they keep pulling results. That is there, is there a chance for a late charge from Watford? <laughs> They're happily sitting in fourth, so why not? I'm in for second place, but yeah. You think? Yeah, definitely. Listen, if it were any other team apart from United in second. I'd say top two was done with. Yeah, yeah. 
Bear in mind, yeah, I think they are going to run away with it now. Uh, it's that second spot. It's just my uh, pessimistic side coming out. It's just still up for grabs for me. They said they're in fourth. They're happy as Larry there. What, are they on 40 points? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad we've played likes of Middlesbrough, Watford, yeah. West Brom. We've played them all the way. Yes. So I'm glad we've got them out of the way. If, they, if it weren't, such, like we said, a dumpster, a dumpster fire off the field, they could be a real force, really. Because they've, they've got the Premier League money, they've got like some ageing players, but they've got they've got some good pacey players. They have, but pace don't get you everything. No, tr- very true. West Bromwich Albion are continuing their charge. 1-0 win at home to Reading. <laughs> Same again, it's what, five wins uh, last four in league. Isn't it amazing Since what happens? Start again. Isn't it amazing what happens when Steve Bruce isn't there? Mm, Carlos Calberon. That Benny Dome football, mate. Doing really well. He's, a, he's another a one that will get into the playoffs. Yeah, you reckon? Yep. Borough v uh, West Bromwich playoff final. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a cracking final, to be fair. But it, it, yeah, it'd, put, it'd be a good game. Because both teams will go for it. Cole Brand is that Benny Dome football that I love. He's a very good manager. Him. Very good manager. Didn't like him play a final with Rusfield though, did I? No, he didn't. But I think they just run out of steam. Yeah, I think he was a bit too negative in that final. You reckon? Yep. I think players just run out of steam. I don't know if it were... I think they should have gone out and just brought more legs. <laughs> they should have done. <laughs> Fuck off, Forrest. <laughs> uh, one team. Sheffield United played away at Queen's Park Rangers. Who can't buy a goal at home? So, of course, we spent most of the game 1 0 down. Uh, yeah, uh, we seem to. Well, we stole a point, didn't we? Yeah. 100%. Stole a point. It weren't pretty from us. Fair play to QPR. I thought Chair were brilliant against us. Yeah. Uh, oh, Lyndon Dykes were one that's fucking love child. I, I couldn't stand listening to him. Oh, right, yeah. He must be shagging him. Miss, Mrs. Doubtfire is definitely bedding Lyndon Dykes. Jeebus. Allegedly. I mean, I couldn't get to my so I did watch it on uh, Sky and listening to Neil Warnock. As much as I love him as my bio manager for United, yeah. him and Lee Hendry just did my head in. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire and Sue Smith on commentary. It's just awful. Absolutely awful. QPR didn't look that good, but they, they did come and get a go. They got a lucky goal. Yeah. We looked good for the first five, ten minutes, and then we switched off. Which seems to be a theme. Mm. And then the last ten minutes, we were awesome because we were getting everything we got uh, attacking-wise. I think that's a theme wish of United at the minute. Is we go out ten minutes. Oh, his job's done. This we'll get a goal eventually. Goal don't come. Things can happen that go desperate long, and then we spend the rest of the game chasing. And it's stupid. Just go out and attack, 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 attack. attack, attack. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm I'm not a fan of this. Oh, patience, it'll come. Not until you got first goal in back. No, in you there. need that first goal. You need that first goal to set the precedent. Trouble is Wales this season, we've not really come from behind. No. So it's uh, that, that coming from behind to get a result, it's hard work once you go on, go on behind. I'm not going to disguise it and say, oh, brilliant, it felt like a win. Because it didn't. It felt great. To, I would jump in round. Oh, yeah. Like, well, why wouldn't you? Everybody loves a last minute equaliser yep. slash winner. Everybody loves it. But don't let it disguise the fact we played shite. That's it. And we've not won since last year now. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, we're on a bad run. <laughs> yeah, that's it, bad run. <laughs> anyway, as I said, Norwich have parted ways with uh, Dean Smith. Why he was there in the first place is fucking beyond me. Uh, David Wagner has come in. They were good on X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anywho. <clears throat> anywho. <laughs> do you, what do you reckon's that appointment? Uh, he's not been a bad for a while, has he? Uh, Uddersfield got him to the Premier League, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, got him there, brought him down. Um, but it was always going to happen with Huddersfield. They didn't have the yeah. budget for it. Good manager. Um, I don't, it's hard one to see this one. Are we? I are we not giving him a stamp yet, are we? I don't see it. We think it's an okay appointment. It's not bad, it's not terrible. Yeah. It's better than Dean Smith. Can't be any worse. Yeah, well... It, 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 it reminds me a lot of what was the last guy called at night for Smith. I can't remember Smith. Faulkner. Have been here. Oh, Faulkner. Faulkner, that's it. Very much in that mould, isn't it? Yeah, well, if he is, and then I don't think he'll go far wrong, because he's still good at Norwich very well. Yeah, time wasting, kicking ball out. It's just the Norwich way. It's just the Norwich way, and it's shit. They've got better players than that, so use them. Uh, but I can see Wagner playing that similar way. I, I wouldn't have minded a younger manager. Who's going to go show a bit more attacking flair? But they're in high demand. They're everywhere, aren't they? Really? Yeah, uh, I think these young managers and all get chipped off. Right? Yeah. Look at uh, Nathan Jones. 
He's such a bad appointment, though. I don't know. I no, love not, not for it. Not, not on Nathan Jones. Nathan Jones is one who's made a mistake choosing Southampton. Possibly, yeah. More entitled just, Premier I, League fans. I'm willing them to do well. And not at Southampton. Fuck it. I want, I want him to set Luton up. Luton's a working class fan base. If they don't come down with him, this little stick with him, I think he'll get Southampton back up with you no reckon? problem. Either. But the problem is their fans are so entitled, they're not, they don't want him there. Are they? Of course they are. They're singing Nathan Jones, your football is shit, after three games. It comes from Luton. <laughs> Look where you got Luton. They'd beat Southampton. Fair enough, but... It's true, isn't it? I reckon Luton stuff Southampton at a minute. No chance. 4-0. What's in that? <laughs> they won. <laughs> Southampton are fucking dog shit. It, it, same as a, uh, loads of points. In championship, like this. At the side that they've got, I think would piss it. But you, but you said that about you'd say that about Norwich. You'd say that. No, no, not under Dean Smith on. Not under Dean Smith, but no. But you'd say that about the team that they've got. You say about a few. Well, that's that's why I bought them to finish top three. Look at what for well, exactly. This is what I mean. Yeah, but you, you look at Watford and Burnley. They're still up there, aren't they? Southampton. Fourth and first. Southampton, another entitled piece of shit Premier League club with entitled piece of shit Premier League players that don't know the bone. Just the way it is. Fair enough. It's just the way it is. No work ethic. No grit. No determination to him. Passion. No passion. Passion, passion spelled P A S H U N. Passion. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go around the fans. Chris Hall here for Pitch Footy, ahead of Albion, away at Luton this weekend. Of course, Baggy's going to Kenilworth Road in unbelievable form, really. Uh, eight wins out of the last nine. That's kind of ignoring a little bit the fact that, obviously, we only uh, we only drew uh, with a last-minute equaliser against uh, non-league Chesterfield in the FA Cup third round. However, it was an enormously changed Albion side. To be honest, to the players that that started that game, um, I probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't expect any of them to start at Kenilworth Road at the weekend. The one who might have done was Brandon Thomas Asante, but unfortunately he's been given a retrospective uh, three-game ban for what was alleged to be an elbow uh, in the latter stages of that game, I have to say. Personally, I think calling that violent conduct when it looked to be more accidental than anything else I think is very very harsh but we have to live with it and we have to go without a player who has been one of our best players and it's a big blow because um, Corbran likes to rotate the, the two strikers start with one of them and change them over on 60 minutes so it's a big big blow Luton's a tough game um, you know, obviously seventh in the table. They've had a good season, and they're a really tough prospect at Kenilworth Road. They've only lost twice there all season. Haven't lost there since September, even though they do draw a lot of games. And it's 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 a tough game for the Albion. It's a tough couple of games back to back away at Luton, and then back uh, and then away at Burnley. We've had a brilliant run, but if we can get anything like four points from the next two games, maybe even two points and go unbeaten in the next two games, you have to say it would be it'd be a really good return because this is the real test of Corbrand's Albion over the next couple of games. I swear, every time I put the camera on to record one of these videos, I look worse. And I'm putting that down solely to being a Watford supporter. Yeah, following the Hornets at the moment is a tricky old business. I wouldn't recommend it. You end up looking like this. Um, Blackpool this weekend, following on from their FA Cup exit away against Reading at the weekend. In all honesty, it was a game we probably wanted to lose. Watford never going to win the FA Cup. And with a ridiculous injury crisis showing no signs uh, of getting better, more games is exactly what we didn't need. I think one of the shining stars, or shining stars is probably pushing it a little bit, but one of the high points from that game uh, was Ismail Kone making his debut, the Canadian international. He played at the World Cup, signed for Watford during this window, and he's been uh, uh, much heralded, so Watford fans looking to forward to seeing him in action. He played well at the Medeski Stadium, whatever it's called these days, um, and he'll be called into action again this weekend against Blackpool. The injury crisis showing no real signs uh, of improving. They may have Hamza Chowdhury, one of the key uh, midfield protagonists so far this season back. He's been missing for about a month or so and has been sorely missed actually. The Leicester loan, he's been really, really good for, for Watford this season. A, a, a canny signing getting getting him in, on loan. But we're still missing some really important players. In Man Loser in midfield there. Uh, and worst of all, João Pedro, he's not going to be back uh, for at least six weeks or so yet. So, 
Injury crisis still dominating the headlines uh, at Watford. It Courtney Howes has gone back to Aston Villa, so they'll be looking to replace him uh, as a left-sided uh, centre-back. Nothing that won't, nothing will happen in that regard ahead of the game uh, on Saturday. We'll wait to see if Mateus Martins, the Fluminese uh, signing, the winger from Fluminese, he signed for Udinese and come to Watford on loan. Yep, I can hear you rolling your eyes already. Surprise, surprise, Udinese to Watford on loan. Who would have thought it? Not sure if the work permit situation is going to be sorted in time for him to play um, on Saturday against Blackpool. But ultimately, the bottom line is, if Watford are to stay in touch, even remotely at the top, these are the sort of games they have to win. No disrespect to Blackpool at all. I'm stuttering because I'm having to remember the game at Bloomfield Road earlier this season. Watford got absolutely battered by the Tangerines. Uh, 3-1 to the home side. Uh, well deserved from from Blackpool so there's no way that Watford should be taking them lightly but these are exactly the sort of exactly the sort of games that Watford are going to have to win if they're going to stay in touch at the top I'm going to stay optimistic it's probably getting harder and harder but I'm going to stay optimistic especially if I, I did it up last night Watford has scored five goals in nine games so uh, yeah that's where we need to be better but I'm going to go for a 3-1 Watford win we'll reverse the away fixture we'll draw it in aggregate three points for the Golden Boys see you next time we mentioned it earlier West Brom and Borough are on the charge and there's no stopping them at the moment they're in no West Brom are in ninth so they're not quite in those playoff places yet yeah, but look at the points yeah it, it's so close there isn't it 39 in fifth 38 in ninth just shows you how close that anybody can get in playoffs 42, 42 for third it's mad yeah, exactly absolute madness but the thing is as well you look below them I think it's about five points to relegation zone and all in there I'm not all that far down. I don't have to for a change. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that yeah. shit yet. <laughs> yet. So we'll go like on a four match. I do you. have a little look at Rotherham because I like Rotherham. So I like to see when they're struggling at the moment. Yeah, good. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> them and wasps. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're coming for me to sting me again, aren't they? Yeah. Mm, buzz, buzz. Fuck off. Uh, but yes, you, you look at the, the league itself, it's so wide open. And I thought it was going to be. I thought it would have been harder division this year. Why? What made you think that? I'm just standard of teams coming down. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. I think it's been better leagues in the past. I think it's been worse. It's been better. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. But I just thought it'd be a bit stronger. But it's everybody's beating everybody. It's gone mad. That's why I love championship. And I do. But it's just gone off its fucking tits, Jono. It's like it sat there, it's looked at the mushroom, it said, I like the look of that mushroom, it's put the mushroom in its mouth, and now it's tripping balls. That is what the Championship is doing, it is tripping fucking balls. Because West Brom and Borough were down, they were dead, they were out, <laughs> and now they're up there at top six, it's fucked. Championship's tripping its balls off. I've, I've just lost plot, yeah. <laughs> so, Championship! <laughs> Great analogy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, expand. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you look at the teams around them. Watford. Do you think? Do you think Watford has, has cemented Watford and Blackburn? Uh, no. 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 Well, Watford maybe. Uh, Blackburn. I do think they will have a bad patch and slip down the league. Uh, Millwall. Millwall are an enigma, and I want them to go up. As long as we're not in playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I want. I want us to finish first. I want. Uh, yeah, uh, Millwall. I want us to finish top. Burnley second. I wouldn't mind Burnley not going up at all. Not because I dislike Burnley, just because it's a... a they had a, their time in Premier League, so let them stay Let down us be the Burnley for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you stay down here and be the Sheffield United yeah, for a while. Yeah, you above your way way too long. Yeah, yeah, let us do it this time. But Fair no. play to them, they have done really yeah, well, course, they have. I, I, have a, I don't say a soft, soft, soft spot for Burnley, because I don't. Um, my family, so my, we lost my uncle at Burnley's ground. Uh, a lot of my family gets to be mascots there, because they've always been really good to us, yeah. uh, to my family. Um, but we lost him in a playoff final, so fuck you. <laughs> but no, it's nothing against Burnley. I'd, it's a stronger team. I'd rather a weaker team go up, make it easier for us yeah, next yeah. season to have another team below us. Well, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? It, tactical thinking. Tick tactical. Tick tacky. But I'd rather it be us in first, Blackburn or, Bur or Burnley second, and Millwall go up by playoffs. Because yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Can imagine, I'd like to see Millwall in Premier League. So would I. Can you imagine fucking carnage? <laughs> all, all Premier League fans sat there with a prone sandwiches just staring as a fucking prone <laughs> jumper. Oh my lord, what is this? Monaco falling into the champagne. I think I saw that at Chelsea when we <laughs> <Yeah>. went actually. 
just silence right round and there's us singing. And I just said, uh, oh my lord, these northerners, they're so noisy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, I, I would love to see Millwall go up. Do you see it realistically? Or is it just a pipe dream? Pipe dream, sorry. Oh, Mickey, get sorry. him. Get him, Mickey. <laughs> I just, I mean, I'd love to see him go up. Uh, they've yeah. got a lot of hate to Millwall, and I, I don't get it. No, I don't. I don't. I think they've just got that reputation from years back, and people just determined not to like them. And I like them. Uh, proper club. Yeah. Good fan base. Good set of lads. So, yeah. yeah. Nobody expected Luton to be anywhere near the playoffs, especially after a bad start. They're still fighting there and there around. Yeah, I wish they'd bugger off. Yeah, I know. Because I said they'd do awful this season. <laughs> Could you imagine a Luton the War playoff final? Well, we did think we were going to get Luton Huddersfield final or something. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that were it. Sunderland. A team that I expected to be mid table. I didn't expect them to struggle. I expected them to be about mid table. Yeah, I'd have agreed with that. Are they a dark horse for going up, do you think? Not with little Tony. Not with little Tony. No. Little Tony. Little Tony. Little Tony. Bless him. He's going to fuck it up. He is. <laughs> He's had a couple of good results here, past couple of games, like that. Little Tony. I, I just don't think he's got the tactics to. Tic tacs. Tic tacs. No. Not for me, they're not going to make playoffs. No. Coming to the end of the show now, which means before we do go, we're going to have a look at four big upcoming games. Because four games equals... Four players. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's got so creepy. It's not as creepy as it's been. <laughs> no, no, I turned it down for that one. It was more or like less of a... Ooh. <laughs> that were even worse. I'm, so, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. Uh, yeah, we're going to pick four big games. You can play along. Get down in the comments. See if you agree with us or not. See who you think you would win in these fixtures. Go onto the app, pick four different fixtures because points make prizes and points. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting sacked. <laughs> but anywho, get on there, get your predictions in because you need to get to the top of that leaderboard to win the prizes. We've got some great quarterly prizes and an annual prize and they're well worth having. Our predictions for this week, we're going to start off with Rotherham. Struggling versus Blackburn Rovers in third place. I see this one going. I'm going to say it with my heart on this one. I'm going to say Ooh. a Rotherham win. Really? Yeah. Absolutely fucking not. Blackburn are <laughs> going to win 4 0. I think Blackburn have got enough about them to absolutely dismantle Rotherham. Just take them to pieces. Do what you have, but I just think on for Rotherham, they're going to get a good go. And I can just see them scraping a win. Yeah. Going down. <laughs> Burnley versus Wasps. Wasps coming off their uh, loss to Wrexham. The annihilation. The annihilation by Wrexham. Uh, yeah, I can't see Coventry getting a result here. Uh, Burnley for me. Nil nil. Nil nil. Nil nil. I think what. There's I hate, no way Burnley is not. I, I that despise much. Wasps with all my heart. I think they're a horrible club, and I'd, I'd, I'd let them and Wrexham swap places now. <laughs> I take Deadpool FC in the championship over fucking Wasps any day of the week. But they'll be out with a point to prove. They've, they'll be gritty, they'll be nasty. I think they're going to upset Burnley. Uh, not going to win, not, they're not good enough to get a win against them. But they, they, they're going to grind out a nil nil draw, I think. Oh. <laughs> Luton versus West Bromwich Albion. Uh, I'm going to go first. Luton are going to halt the West Brom run for a week. Maybe not longer than a week, but a week. Luton's going to, Luton's going to get that win. Uh, it's a tough match that one it's yeah good, it's a it one. is it's a difficult one uh, but I'm going for a draw with some fence yeah that, that's realistic I think yeah. I think at West Brom if it had been at the Orthones I think West Brom would have yeah, but it's a hard place to go to win their exactly. pitch just seems so small yeah I don't know whether they do shorten it for a certain game like, yeah. yeah it's a possibility I just think that Luton you saw that game against Norwich didn't you how up for it they are they're yep. fighting for something they don't want West Brom to overtake them because that's that's what they will do if West Brom beat them they go above them so they'll be they'll have fire in the bellies they'll be going for it and, and I can see Luton getting the win here but a draw like you've said is another realistic yep. option Middlesbrough against me <laughs> I think that's how the name that's all they ever fucking seen <laughs> well yeah <laughs> but yeah me, I'm, I'm having difficulty with this one because yeah. just like I said about Luton, if this had been at Millwall, I'd have fancied Millwall I to don't really know. go we, for we it. Form the Middlesbrough's in. All right, they've just got a tonking from Brighton. Yeah, but, but that's, that's why. This why at Middlesbrough you think, oh, Middlesbrough's got this. But Millwall's, I'd, I'd fancy, I'd fancy Millwall if it were at the Den. 
What's holding me back from fancying him on this one is the fact that it's at Borough. I think that, that advantage goes to Borough, and I think they'll have enough about him to see him off. But Millwall, just like I said with Luton, will not want to let go of sixth spot, and they will definitely want to try and catch up and overtake Borough in fifth. Yeah. It's going to be a tough game, uh, and this is the one where I'm we seeing watch that one. It will. The, the last two games are probably yeah. the best watchers from the weekend, apart from Sheffield United. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I can see this one being the draw. I think Borough's just going to have too much you reckon? for him. Chuck back bomb. Oh, yeah, this is a problem with Millwall. If, if they can get a result away at Millsbury, yeah. from that they're in, they, uh, yeah, I'll put them up there. Yeah. I'll think that they could finish in top six, but these are the games that they're not going to win for me, and this is I, what's going to yeah. cost them. I don't see him winning it by any means necessarily, but I think they can nick a draw. Nil-nil, nil-nil, one-one, that kind of game. Um, but yeah, it's an odd. It's a, the last two games, Luton West Brom, Borough Millwall. You love picking Millwall. these matches, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Could have picked easy ones for us, <laughs> couldn't you? <laughs> Makes my week to think which one will fuck John yeah, over the ball. <laughs> um, yeah, let us know if you agree with our predictions. Let us know your predictions in the comments down below. You have been watching Championship Chatter, the most watched series on pitch football. I'm not letting that one go. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. A lot of you are watching. But you're not, not subscribing. You're not subscribing. <laughs> if you're watching and you're not subscribing, you're stealing. It's stealing. It costs you absolutely nothing. It's free. Absolutely free. Free. The YouTube channel's free. And you make us happy. They're, no, they're definitely not subscribing now. If you put subscribe, you'll make us absolutely fucking miserable. There you go. What wasp fans are going to hit subscribe? <laughs> yeah, get down there, hit subscribe, get in the comments. There's more great content that's not for the news. We've got weekly fan roundups. Get here, there, and everywhere. And there's big things coming from pitch to football this year. So download the app, subscribe, get in the comments. It's all good. I've been Johnny. I've been Johnny. Good luck for the weekend, unless you're playing Sheffield United. <laughs> good luck.